Happy April 16th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy used her new Healing Light spell for the first time to help some critters that she saved from a swarm of evil insects. One of the insects escaped with some stolen belongings, and we found nothing helpful on the remains of the ones that didn't escape. It looks like we've got two travelers here on the road um, from Harkin Run to Ardenstone. That's where we're headed. Maybe today we'll find out their story. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. These young cartographers accidentally strayed into this area while mapping the region. They expressed their gratitude for your intervention and help and show keen interest in joining you on your adventures. We've got Ivy Bushtail uh, and Sky Featherbeak. I think... Uh, I think the cartographer. So there was a short uh, adventure during the Kickstarter cartographer's quest. I wonder, I think these might be the two, um, I think these might be the cartographers from that quest. If you have saved critters written down, we do, um, you may hire them for five less amber. Absolutely. Uh, we don't have room on our party, I think, for two more, but I think we can, oh, we do. In fact, we could add three more. So yeah, let's take, uh, we don't even have to invent names for these. Where's the stickers? Stickers, we want Ivy and Sky. And, let's see them there, here we go. Here's Sky. And, um, maybe, maybe we'll take a look at the, uh, Cartographer's Quest. I think I have it here on my sky. Excellent. Another bird to join the party. And I don't know what ivy is. We've got another ivy. That might be a problem. Two ivies in the party. <laughs> okay, there's ivy. Looks like uh, sky is a survivalist. Ivy is a student. Um, Sky can add to our defense. Ivy can heal us one. Oh, they both have high health compared to Vinny and Enid, so that's great. Um, yeah, let me, uh, well, let's quick look on the back of this. Yeah, that's just the rules, um, for how to use party members. We're familiar with that. So, I'm going to pause here and, uh... See if I can get that cartographer's quest and if we can figure out what's going on with these folks. Okay, yep, we've got the cartographer's quest here. Um, this is Sky Featherbeak. Sky is a young apprentice cartographer looking for adventure in the world. From a young age, she always wanted to become an adventurer and explore all of Renwood. She discovered she could make a living by making maps of her journeys. She's, uh, she has been in her apprenticeship until now and is ready to make her mark on the world. So Blue Jay Cartographer and Ivy Bushtail, a Gal Galago, Galago? Uh, Ivy uh, Cartographer. Ivy Bushtail has never been genuinely suited for most jobs. Uh, but has always known that he would eventually need to find a place in life. He stumbled upon the idea of becoming a cartographer when he saw another map maker enjoying a meal under a willow by the river one sun sunny afternoon. They were simply eating lunch and drawing. That seemed like an easy job. Ivy's been apprenticing until now. And we'll soon start on his own. We've got character sheets. Um, and I've printed, I think, I don't know how this worked, um, I assume we pick one. I've printed out Sky's sheet here, and Ivy also has a character sheet, which is here in the PDF if we want. 
and it looks like this is eight days so um this might go long but i'm curious so let's do it you stand before your mentor master elric quillshot the world famous cartographer sky and ivy you have shown outstanding dedication and progress in your studies your final task is to create an accurate and comprehensive map of the uncharted areas within the lost woods uh oh we've been through the lost woods uh we know all about them remember precision and attention to detail are paramount be observant document any peculiarities and return with a map that will stand as a testament to your skills i'll equip you with some supplies but first I present a small test. Demonstrate your knowledge of map symbols by drawing a detailed map, a uh, map key that includes at least five essential symbols commonly used in cartography. This will test your ability to communicate information effectively through symbols. A vital task, a vital skill for any cartographer. And we draw the map key. We're going to roll d20 plus wisdom. Maybe we're supposed to play both of these, but let's just do... Uh, We'll do sky here. Apparently I'm partial to birds, I guess. D20 plus wisdom. Uh, her wisdom is plus one. We got an 11. What are our abilities? Survival adds plus two to all rolls on journeys. Once per page, we can um, add D4 to a single defense roll. That's our wind gust and wing bash. Once per page, add your dexterity. So and that doesn't help us here. Um, we got an 11. Um... 11. If the result is between 8 and 14, your map key demonstrates a basic understanding of standard symbols used in cartography, but there are inconsistencies in the design and interpretation. Some symbols may be misleading or confusing. <laughs> this feels like a grading rubric. Master Elric provides guidance on refining your symbols and encourages you to delve deeper into the subject matter to enhance your skills. Add one uh, health potion... One meal ration and one health potion. Um, meal ration. One health potion. One. Okay. Uh, Master Elric bids you a good journey. May your compass guide you and your observations shape the map. Yeah, we're, we know this area. Um, you set out with your companion and fellow apprentice. Uh, I, I guess that means we're four playing Sky. We're heading out with Ivy. Uh, the Lost Woods are close to your town of Ardenstone. A well-traveled road will take you to Harkin Run, a nearby city that is halfway there. It's likely the safest route. A path along the coast might offer a more rewarding view, but it's risky. <laughs> yeah, uh... Well, I think we did okay along the coast when with our other crew. Uh, road or coast? Let's take the coast. D20 plus wisdom, reminder survivalist. So there's a seven. Plus, two, uh, plus one for wisdom is eight. Plus two for survivalist is ten. Uh, take the coastal route. If the result is nine or less, if the result is between ten and thirteen... The path along the coast contains beautiful scenery. It was a more pleasant route than the road could have been. It is a lower route, but worth the experience. As you camp for a night, you practice your drawing skills as you sketch the beautiful coastline. You must consume two meal rations for the nights you stop to camp. Um, and we only have one, so I believe that means we take a point of damage. So where's our health here? HP 7, we are down to 6. And we've consumed one meal ration. Okay, rules for traveling. Yep, we're familiar with that. Okay. Day 3. Um, while exploring the Lost Woods, you hear unusual noises in the distance. Deciding to check it out, you hike up a small hill and discover a deep ravine. Dangerous insects are working to haul up unrefined amber. What did you stumble upon? We're going to do several things in order here. What do you know about insects? What do you know about amber? Do you take some amber? 
and then we'll either hide or leave the area. Okay, what do you know about insects? D20 plus intellect, Th three, minus one is two, uh, nothing. <laughs> we don't know anything about insects. Apparently, you've never seen one in person and you have only seen pictures, but every critter learns from a young age that insects are dangerous and should be avoided. There shouldn't be any in this part of the forest. What do you know about amber? Uh, I believe that's also, yep, d20 plus intellect. Wow, one. Um, so, Sky, uh, we're not rolling very well, Sky. Amber is the currency of the realm of Renwood. It appears that they are mining, but why? Do you take some amber? Uh, I. The only option here is yes. <laughs> so yes, you spot something nearby. You pick up a piece of amber from the ground. There are many reasons to take it. Evidence to show the royal guards, a souvenir for your first adventure, or to resell on the market. You decide to keep the shiny piece. Note down chunk of amber for future reference. All right. Chunk of amber. A chunk of amber. Okay. Choose to either hide and observe or leave the area. Let's keep an eye on Well, that's an intellect and dexterity. Um... I don't know. What do they do? 1 to 10, they hide. Uh, 11 to 20, they leave the area. We're going to hide. Okay, hide and observe. D20 plus intellect. Eight, uh, 18. And um, that's the best result. You find a spot nearby to get a good view while remaining well hidden. Gain a plus 2 bonus to your rolls on the next page. Uh, plus two, day four. Uh, you discover other critters are working below in the ravine with the insects. They have chained up the insects like slaves and are forcing them to do their mining. That's an interesting development. Okay. Day four. Well, well, what do we have here? A trespasser in our little operation. You've stumbled into something you shouldn't have, my friend. We've worked hard to secure these riches and can't let you interfere. Get them. Engage in combat. Roll the dice indicated on the table. Be sure to add your modifiers to your rolls. Check the hero sheet for these numbers and look for abilities you can use in combat. Okay, so we're doing combat. This looks, looks like a lynx or something. It's got this claws on a, the head of one of the insects. This is a little frightening. So two, we're gonna fight two insects. You will only engage each enemy in a single round of combat. Use numbers next to each enemy below for their combat stats. Okay, so we're gonna attack and try to hit a defense of 10. Our attack, so d20 plus two for our attack, that's a four. Uh, nothing is gonna really help us there. So we didn't hit it. So it gets to attack us. We want to defend against 11, 15. So we defend successfully, which means we take one point of damage. So we're down to five. Enemy two, the insect thrusts his sharpened shovel into your abdomen, ouch. Okay, we want to attack, we want to beat 12. Not even close, we got five. Nothing's going to be enough to get us to 12. So now we need to defend against a 9. We got an 8. Um, our defense is plus 1, 9. So we did it. We take partial damage, which here is 0. Okay. Uh, if you killed one, we didn't kill any. And we didn't kill any enemies. Uh, so we're not going to collect any amber. Day 5. The leader lets out a roar and calls more insects over to deal with you. They rush forward. With too many to uh, fight off, your companion flees. <laughs> There's Ivy. <laughs> uh, Wide-eyed and running for his life. Um, you follow their lead and take off as the insects pursue you both. One, get down the hill. Uh, two, dodge the rocks thrown at you. 
All right. Um, get down the hill. We're going to roll D20 plus dexterity. That's a good one for us. 13 plus 2 is 15. Um, that's the best result. You turn quickly to flee. Loose soil from the hill begins to slide under your feet. You crouch down to lower your center of mass as you slide down into the ravine. Two, dodge the rocks thrown at you. This is going to be a defense roll. 15, excellent. Plus one is 16. Um, some insects stand at the top of the hill throwing large stones at you as you run away. You dodge all the rocks thrown at you as they zoom past or land at your feet. Day six. You've temporary, temporarily lost your pursuers, but they are patrolling the river in search of you. Navigate through the mining operation to find a way out. Start at X. Navigate around the map. Visit each numbered area along your path. Explore and resolve each area you visit before you choose your next. So we're up here at the top right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think we'll just go in order and keep it simple. Area one, you find a cluster of mining equipment you can hide near while you put together a plan. You could set up the equipment in a way as to cause a ruckus that will distract others while you find a way out. Okay, D20 plus intellect to cause a ruckus. 15 minus one is 14. That's still the best result. You manage to set up a chain reaction that will push a cart down a hill once you've moved a bit away. Gain a plus two bonus on all the rolls on this page. I think I forgot the plus two on day four, but oh well. Um, so we get a plus two on everything here. I'm going to try to remember that. Area two. Um, so we're moving to this hillish area over here. You find a tall cliff that might lead to an exit. You try to climb it. D20 plus strength. 13 minus 2 is 11. Ouch. Um, if we get to 13, do we have anything that can help us? I don't think so. Nope. You get halfway, uh, halfway up before losing your grip and crashing down. Reduce your health by 1. Ouch. 4. We're at 4 health of 7. Three, we're over here by the tent. You are caught by one of the workers. She raises her axe and swings hard to chop off your head. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Um, so we're going to attack. We get a three plus two is five. Uh, can we get four more points? I don't think so. We can add to damage. We can add to, oh, we have plus two on this page. Three. Four, five, what are we doing? Attacking, five, six, seven. Oh, wow, can we get two more? Once per page, add to defense. Once per page, add to damage. No, I don't think we can. Okay, so again, we're going to defend. Whew, 20. Oh, excellent. That gives us a boon. We now have a boon. Um, I completely forget what a boon does. I haven't had one in so long. Um, let's <laughs> look up what that is. Uh, boon. Boons and automatic failures. Um, earn a boon when you roll a natural 20. Um, you may use this boon to add a d4 on a future d20 roll. Okay. All right. That was for our defense. So we successfully defend... Um, we take one point of damage, though, partial damage. We're down to three. We should probably use this health potion. We can't use it in combat, but we can use it maybe before we go to the next uh, area. If your defense rolls... doesn't say... I'm assuming we're only doing one round of combat here. Um, it doesn't say. I don't... Should we keep fighting this until we kill it? I, I'm going to assume we're supposed to. Okay, well, let's... Um, I don't want to die here. <laughs> uh, but here we go. Oh, um, is that, 
Uh, I think that was going to be a natural one. That's a fail. Oh, this is not good, you guys. We can't re-roll, right? Nope. Okay, we need to defend. This could be bad. Okay, 14. We defended. So we do take another point of damage. We're down to two. We need to hit this fella. 13. There we go. We hit him. We just need to do two damage. We roll a d6. And if we need to, we can add damage with our wing bash. But we don't need to. Three. We killed him. Okay. We killed the worker. We are hurting. Let's use that heal, uh, health potion. That's going to add a d4. Hoping for a four. Yes, four. So we're up to six. Excellent. And we're done with the health potion. Okay. Area four, you approach a dark tunnel <clears throat> in the hopes of finding a place to hide. You hear footsteps nearby and must run inside to avoid being spotted. This is the final area. Stop here or continue to explore. Let's look at area five. So that was four over here where the water flows. Five is this other area over by the camp. You come across a group of critters taking a break to eat. They are distracted by their meal and were never alerted to your trespassing. They look at you inquisitively. <laughs> you can try to blend in as a fellow worker. Yeah, let's do it. Charisma is plus one. Twelve. Thirteen. We get plus two on this page. It's fifteen. They acknowledge you and continue to eat. You spot a dropped vial of warding ointment by the food table. And you pick it up. Yes, please. We didn't use our boon yet. Uh, warding ointment. And it tells us what that does down here at the bottom of the page. Consumed on use, add D4 to a single defense roll, plus D4 defense. Okay, where are we at? Uh, that's everything on this page. Day 7, next to the last day in the cartographer's quest. The tunnel you went in leads to another mining area. Other workers are here digging at a massive cache of amber, and they haven't spotted you yet. Choose to either cause a distraction or time, or try to time their movements. Uh, and after that, we're going to try to sneak past in the shadows. So cause a distraction takes wisdom. Uh, timing their movement takes intellect plus investigator. Uh, we're better at wisdom, so let's do that. Uh, cause a distraction. Roll d20 plus wisdom. Excellent. 16, um, 17... You dislodge an amber piece that falls to the mine, miners below. Worried about a cave-in, several of them go to investigate. Gain a plus two bonus to sneak past. Okay, so we got d20 plus dexterity plus two. So that's easy. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. No problem. Um, you get by without being spotted. <laughs> <laughs> Easily enough. Oh, was there anything else here? Uh, nope. Okay. What did that say? If you have grateful companion. Oh, well. Okay. Last day, I think. You leave the cavern and spot some dense undergrowth up ahead where you can lose your pursuers. Escape is close at hand if you can make it beyond the water. Flee. Cross the river. Navigate the terrain. Here we go. <laughs> it's like the mob chasing us with pitchforks. Ivy has a huge backpack. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. If you have Chunk of Amber written down from earlier, the leader doesn't want you to escape with evidence. The one who brings them to me gets to take the rest of the day off. The insects have a stronger will to pursue you harder. Take a minus two penalty to all rolls in this page. Ouch. Okay, I regret our earlier decisions. <laughs> Minus two to all rolls. That hurts. You're hurting me, Calendar. Um, okay, you will need three successful rolls to finally escape. Three successful rolls. I don't think I understand that. Three rolls of what? Um, <clears throat> okay, well... 
Let's keep reading. Flee. Roll d20 plus constitution. You have, <clears throat> you have a head start trying to escape, but getting away isn't just about being quick. It would be best if you pace yourself as well. Okay. d20, 5, plus constitution is 0. That's no good. You burst from the scene with a quick pace that you soon discover you won't be able to maintain. <clears throat> you grow tired quickly as the insects close the distance. Okay. Uh, three successful rolls to finally escape. Once you have three successes. Oh, down here. Uh, uh, it's going to be on the navigate. Um, okay, let's keep going. Two, cross the river. Roll d20 plus dexterity. There is no solid footing in the riverbed which is full of rocks, creating a hazardous environment. D20. <laughs> Minus two is zero. Nothing's going to help us there. You slip on a rock and fall into the water, slowing you down. Okay. Navigate the terrain. As you make your way through the dense undergrowth, the sound of pursuit intensifies behind you. The leader's angry shouts grow louder. Find them. Bushes around you rustle as the insects search for you. You need to continue to move. This action is repeatable. Do this again until you have enough successes to escape. <sighs> D20 plus wisdom. At least we have a plus one on wisdom, but um, nothing else will help us here. So, the warding ointment gives us defense. All right. Well, one. Okay. Um, you stumble upon an insect that scratches at you before you duck back into the shrubbery. Reduce your health by one. Retry this action until you have three total successes. Excellent. Okay. We have five more tries before we die. Three. That's no good. And we have minus two on this page, right? Oh my goodness. Four. This is not good. 15, okay. Minus 2 is 13. So we got one success. You put more distance between you and the enemy and grow closer to freedom. You achieved one success and need a total of three to get away successfully. Retry this action until you have three. Okay, successes. We're going to make some little check boxes here. One, two, three. All right, four health. We have four health left, and we need two more successes. 14 minus 2 is 12. Um, plus 1 is 13. That's another success. We put more distance between us. We need one more success. We get, like, three tries here. 9. That's not going to do it. 7 plus 1 is 10. So we lose another health. Crikey. <laughs> I'm like, I'm really nervous. 14. Okay, good. Minus 2 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. That is our third success. Wow. Okay, you achieved, uh, let's see. We have three successes. Once you have three successes, you finally escaped, and you eagerly continue onward, embracing the unknown that lies beyond the lost woods, knowing that every step takes you closer to fulfilling your apprenticeship this is just our apprenticeship. This world is so dangerous. Um, fulfilling your apprenticeship and discovering what lies beyond the next horizon. You take solace in the fact that you've overcome this obstacle and shown resilience in the face of danger. The road ahead may still hold challenges, but with your newfound sense of adventure, uh, you can continue mapping uncharted territories with renewed vigor and enthusiasm okay <laughs> well whoo that my friends I, I guess the boon goes with sky you know what i'm gonna keep it <laughs> we need all the help we can get in this world where apprentices are tortured by insects and ivy's cursed by the tree of season that she's trying to save okay well that my friends is april 16th so <laughs> We shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.